So we are headed into the DI. I am specifically thrifting for things I can make cutting boards out of today. And that's, that's gonna be the goal. I'm probably gonna find a lot of other things, but that's what I'm looking for. And I'm just looking for anything that's cute. I saw this big live edge piece, but it's got a really thick veneer on it. I probably have to do way too much work to make that worth it. But things like this little sign that I grabbed here are gonna be great for turning into cutting boards. That's what I'm looking for today. I wanna to do a lot of cutting boards for the grand opening that are made out of repurposed or found or salvaged wood because those woods are already really nice and dried out. I don't have to worry about cracking or splitting or if I've had the lumber for two years sitting in a dry place curing. And I think they look better too because they've got nicks and dings and random nail holes and it just adds to the character. For the record, I am not going to be turning this little round table into cutting boards. It's a veneer on top and MBDF underneath that. Let's see how Jamie did. I feel like that counts as cute. I'm pretty excited about these. They're not old, but I got like uh, four sets of finials. So I actually think I might just chop off this part and then just make them like little decor. Are those wood or resin? Or just pull it out. Um, they're resin. Still, they're pretty cool. Or unscrew the screw so that way people could use it for something else. I don't know but they were three bucks for two, so I thought it was a good deal. So I was gonna buy that big table and make a bunch of cutting boards out of it, but I ended up just going with this. They actually gave it to me for two bucks because it has all this glue and stuff on it. Someone had probably a wreath or something glued up there and made this, but this is cedar, believe it or not, and I'm going to use all of these pieces and make a pretty cool cutting board out of it for two bucks. I'm not really sure what we're gonna do with this. It had this medallion glued in here and it fell off when I put it in the basket. They gave it to me for $8. I was like, ah, eight bucks, but it's a pretty cool tile. It's tin, so I think we can paint it up, glue this back on and do something fun with or it. Or take that off and put like, do a cool finish with a transfer and then paint this and sell this separately. And then you can make more money because then that would be like two bucks, six bucks. I like where you're at. Always buy Pampered Chef because it sells really well. How much did they give this to you for? I didn't have a price. $1.50. $1.50? I'll probably sell this for like $18.95, so that's a good one. These Reader's Digests were $2, but I don't pass up Reader's Digest, and it has this little embossed unicorn or whatever, the Pegasus down there. Oh, that's cute. And I like the color on both of them. Yeah, so $2 each, probably sell them for like $14.95 for the pair. That's a good price. This is the perfect candidate for I'm dated, but I need some salt wash to make me beautiful again. <laughs> it's got a really great shape. This broken mosaic situation here, though, has got to go. Four bucks for this. Some, the candlestick this size we usually sell in the $22 to $24 range. So Zeb picked up the big mama. I want him to zip off these weird geometric sides. But it's cool, it's huge, and it has a lid, so it'll be good. It's good that it's metal. Yeah, it won't break in transit, hopefully. I'm here at the church. I've got a lot of projects going, but I wanted to show you real quick in this video how I'm going to make this sign into a cutting board, the cedar sign. I'm going to try to use only what's here on the sign to make this and a little bit of glue. I've got some type on two wood glue, my favorite. We're gonna hurry up and get this apart and then put it back together and reshape it a little bit. Tools I need to get this done. I've got my random orbital sander, a jigsaw, pliers in case I've got some stubborn nails and just a regular hammer. Okay, everything is sanded off now, so I'm just gonna flip them. I didn't want them to be staggered. I need a fifth board. This one's kind of busted, but I think we can make that work. I'm just gonna put these back together, run a little glue on that first. Okay, that's a lot of glue. We'll wipe that back off in a minute but I wanna put some of these nails. Let's see if I can get these little nails back in here. Okay, 
can. Well, we were waiting for the glue to dry. I've been doing some repairs over on the plaster, but this is pretty much ready to go. So it's got this five gallon bucket lid that I'm going to be using to basically trace out my shape here. Next, after the plaster, I'm gonna cut the front of this stage off and repair it. See how, see how long that takes me. All right, so these pieces got a little weak on me, so I'm just gonna make sure that they stay attached really, really well. Regluing that down, I got some glue on there, and then we'll just let the glue do its thing. All right, I'm gonna apply a little all natural food safe hemp oil to this so that if someone wants to use it with food, they can. And then this is done. So I went thrifting and I actually found two carts of items without Zeb. He's already working on a project. One of the things I like to look for with thrifting is items just that we need or for the shop. So I've got a mannequin for display, five bucks, you can't beat that. And I, we're gonna be doing a bunch of canning. So I got three boxes, four boxes of canning jars, $3 a box with 12 jars in each, which is a total steal right now. I also got a new mailbox because the one at the church is falling apart. So I'm gonna have to mount this one. I would say that is a pretty successful uh, thrifting trip. I paid $70 for everything in the back of my car. Thanks for coming along thrifting with us. Zeb did a pretty good job on this paddle. It it's turned actually, out all right. It's, it's a paddle, right? It's rustic, it's rustic. Zeb oiled this, but I wanna darken it up, so on Saturday I will water down some milk paint and show you how to do that. It's gonna be awesome. If you wanna buy the oil wax that Zeb used today, or Sweet Pickett's milk paint, cause you wanna darken up yours as well, you can visit jamierayvintage.com. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY.